Bro, some of the outro animations and the screens you give for the character, they're like winning screen are so fire. And then there are some that are pfft, trash. Take it one step at a time. What's going on, my dudes? One step here. Yesterday, we are doing a tier list ranking for the character outros in Street Fighter 6. Because again, some are really cool and some are stupid lame. I'm just going to be real with you. So, of course, subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get right into this tier list ranking the outros, including the animation and the actual winning screen we see. First up, we have Blanca. Blanca's is, you know, what more could you really do with Blanca? Like, the way he is as a character, I like it. I don't think it's quite S tier. So we have S tier, cool, okay, and absolutely just lame bottom. I think his is pretty cool. It's not it's not S tier, but it's not, like, lame either. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Next, we have Cammy. I think Cammy's animation is actually better than the winning screen itself because all she's doing is she's covering her butt crack and just like looking back at the camera like, I'm so cool. Like the animation's cool because she's an assassin style looking, you know, bing, 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 bing. So I think that part's cool. I think the screen itself is okay. I think the animation makes up for it. So I'm gonna put it in the cool area, but it's not quite S tier. <laughs> You know what, Sean Lee is a simple, sweet, to the point, and all around a great outro screen with her Kokokin. That, you know, that glowing screen we got at the end. There's not much more you could do with Chun-Li. I think hers is pretty ass. Yes. It's, it's just a really good, solid, above being a cool outro for the character Chun-Li. They did a really good job with hers. I love it. I think DJ's is also S tier. The way he does his thing, walks up and then like signs the screen and it's like, let's go. Like freaking DJ is the definition of like a vibe character. He is the vibe and his outro just, just shows that off. Awesome Doll seems is super interesting. He like, you know, the elephant picks him up and he goes on the back and he's just like, let's go. Like, it's just, I mean, it fits Doll Seam. It, it fits like, it, it's really cool. I'm gonna put, I don't think it's quite S tier. I don't know what they could do to like make it S tier, but I think it's cool. I don't know, man. E Honda's is, it's like funny for a moment, but the more I watch that animation for E Honda, I just, I think it's okay. I think they could have done so much more for E Honda. Like it's funny at the end when he's like, ha ha, but like the slapping, I don't know. They, I, I think they could have just done so much more with the fire pit, the sumo, you know, the slaps or the headbutt or something. And they chose to go that route. I think it's not, I don't think it's super lame. I think the ending makes it a bit funnier to like be okay. But I think that's it. I think it's just okay. You know what? I think Giles is actually in the same boat as E Honda in the sense that they could have done so much more for Guile as a character. You know, with the sonic booms, the sonic blades, his supers, his dope flash kick. He's got so many moves to go off and like showcase. And instead, they just he just flips a comb and combs his hair. Like, yeah, it's funny, but really, is it that cool? Of an act? Nah, I'm gonna put him as lame. It's like high lame, almost okay, but <laughs> it's lame considering what they could have done for Guile. You know what I mean? Like they could have done so much for his other stuff. I would rather have him flexing his big ass biceps than combing his hair. All right, you can't really see it in this screen right here, but this one is Jamie. And Jamie's is okay. I mean, again, there's not much more you could do with it, you know, being just being a, the drunk master. I wish they would have taken a step further and had him fully drunk, you know, hair out and something more to do with his drink. But for what they gave me, like, it's okay. It's not terrible. JP's outro is absolutely S. It is such a diss move, such a absolutely F you, you're not worth my time kind of outro. Goes a step on your face, says not, not worth my time and just walks away, bro. So, I mean, I'm sure there's more they could have done with his moveset, you know, with the ghost and the, the whatever, but they took more of his personality into perspective in this case and just, he's like just walking away like, don't care about you fam, don't care about you.
I like juries. I really do. I wonder if there's more they could have done with her moveset and like kind of portrayed that in her outro animation, the winning screen. I think it's fun that she sits on you, a lollipop laughs. I think it's cool. I don't think it's quite S. I think there's just a couple more things they could have done. So I, I like hers. I think it's pretty up there. I think it's cool, but I don't think it's quite S. Kent is, I, Kent is so honestly cringy. Like if you're above the age of 10 years old and throwing out the peace sign, like bro, that's cringy. Out of everything they could have done with his moves, it's, that's lame, bro. The animation's okay, but the screen itself, oh, peace man, good fight. Like dude, bro, nah, they could have done so much better. Uh, the screen is lame, the animation's okay. But I think you see more of the screen most of the time, so I think it's just lame. I think Kimberly's is cool. I like I like her. I mean, for, again, like what more could you do to like make it Esther? I don't know. With her personality, the spray cans, you know, with her Super R3 that we see a lot of the time, moving into the outro animation, then the screen, I think it's really cool. For some reason, I don't think it's quite S, but I do believe that it is really high cool. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. But I think Lily's is lame, dude. Out of everything they could, like it's cool they have the eagle and she's like, what's up? But out of, her, you know, again, the lame characters, their, their outro and their like outro winning screen don't really showcase the character. I mean, they do to a point of the personality, like Guile with the hair, Ken with the stupid peace sign and Lily with the eagle. Like I get what they're going for, but again, out of all their moveset, they could have just done so much more. Like for an example, Blanca and Chun-Li, they're bringing in their moveset, you know, the electricity of the Kokokin into their winning, you know, the, the winning screen there. Where do we see the eagle in Lily's moveset? We, we don't, so where did that, what the freak did that come from? I don't know, I think they could have just done so much more for her winning screen. Like the animation's okay, but the, the screen just makes it just lame. I think Luke's is okay. I think he's, you know, he's not like, I don't think it's super cool, but I think it's okay. Like I think it's hot, I think it's almost cool, but the whole freaking Popeye forearm showcase, you know, throwing up like, <laughs> like it's cool. But I mean, I think they could have just done a bit better on it. I don't know. One step, what could they have done? I don't know. I just know they could have done a bit better on that. So I think it's okay. No. I'm probably biased here, but I think Manon's is so unique. I think it's S tier. I think it's like high cool, low S tier. I'm gonna put it in the S because I think it's really, really cool. I am biased, I made Manon. But the like, what else could you have done? I mean, she's the only character that's like super zooming on the face. And with her personality, where she's from, her heritage and her moveset abilities and like who she is as a character, that just makes sense. And I think it's so cool. She's like, yeah, what's up with the bomb? Like, I just think it fits her as a whole in the same sense that JP's totally fits him as a whole. I think Manon's that same way. I think they totally grasp her as a character, her personality and everything she is and put that into her outro animation and the winning screen and they just nailed it. I think Marissa's is S tier. I think Marissa's is so cool. The way that she's like, she beats you as an opponent, picks you, you puts the helmet on, picks you up and is like, I got you fam. Like that is cool. I love that. I don't know what I would have changed on that. I think it's really, I think it's, I think it's S tier for sure. I think I love Marissa's winning animation. Any animation that includes your opponent in some kind of way is really cool. Cause you know how jury sits on you and you always see your character being sat on. I love that it shows Marissa picking you up as a character showing that you lost, but I'll still take care of you. Rashid's winning screen and outro animation, uh, S tier, man. Low S, high cool. I think it's really, I think it's really sick. The way they brought his personality. Again, all the S tiers seem to bring out the character's personality into the outro animation and the winning screen to a whole new level. He's got the, you know, the, the recording screen on. He, the camera falls over. He goes, oh no, because he's a full on, you know, welcome to the stream kind of guy. And so he really cares about the camera and the wind makes it fall over and he goes, ah, and that's like the whole outro animation and winning screen. Oh, I love Love it. They did a phenomenal job with his too. I'm gonna put Ryu's in high okay, low cool, because I think it is cool. And I think it's cool because he's like, he's turning his back on you like, mm, good fight, I won. I'm gonna walk away like the cool like the cool good guy that I am. Could they done more? I think so. I'm gonna put it in okay. I think it's okay. I, I, if they left it, which I'm sure they will, it's okay. I think it's high okay, almost low cool. 
I think they could have made it a touch cooler with his dungeon or something like that, but just leaving it as his back turned. I think JP's is way cooler in that aspect, so I think Ryu's like, his is okay. Last but not least, we have Zangief. Honestly, I think Zangief is really cool. I don't think it's quite S. I don't know what they could have done to make it S, but I think it's a really cool animation and winning screen. Do you just fit Zangief as a person? I almost want to put it S, but I think I'm going to leave it at cool because I don't think it's quite S, but I, I do think that it is a really cool animation and the screen of just like, oh, I think it's so sick. It's funny that out of so far the 19 characters that we have, I really only think there's like three lame ones, Guile, Ken, and Lily. They are. I'm honestly, Jamie's is almost lame, but I think it's okay. But Jamie's kind of borderline like lame and okay. And then other than that, we have freaking E Honda, Luke, and Ryu all in the okay section here. And funny to note that what again, this is all my personal perspective opinion that the S tier outro animations and winning screens we have Chun Li, DJ, JP, Manon, Marissa, and Rashid. I don't know. I think that I just feel like the S tier outro animations and winning screens just really put together and grasp the character's personality and Musa as a whole and put that on the winning screen to just a whole new level and I love it. Let me know down below in the comments, who is your main character in Street Fighter 6 and where did they land on this outro animation winning screen tier list? Do you agree, disagree? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.